Um, this next poem I want to thank Jonathan uh, for publishing um, some time ago. It's a dedicated to Father Patrick Dubois, a French priest who, whose grandfather was imprisoned for uh, the resistance in France, and he was taken to the Ravaruska concentration camp. Um, and what has fascinated Father Dubois for years is what is it about human consciousness that allows these sorts of things to happen? But as part of that, he's also a scientist. And he spent years um, in Lithuania, Ukraine, and then it turns all the way from the Baltic to the Mediterranean, um, excavating with scientists what happened. I can only imagine how he must feel, given what's going on in Ukraine now. He also worked with the, the Yazidi um, massacres and in Guatemala as well. So this is a man who is very serious about the nature of us. So, it is true, this is for Kaddish and Bones, Yahad and Unum, which Yahad and Unum is the name of his website. Um, it is true what the priest discovered. I have heard others tell of it. The bones of Jews have been ground into the road to the green cemetery tended for the SS graves. They fill holes in the airplane tarmac. They lie enclosed in a cellar, never opened. Some scream at the priest to stay away from their tomato patches. The modern house at the end of the dismal village belongs to the man who offered succor to fleeing Jews, only to smother them in the night for the gold in their teeth. 20,000 were shot or bludgeoned in view of the schoolhouse. Children were requisitioned to walk the planks to flatten the people thrown into the pits alive, covered in lye or sand, so the next layer would be smooth. The pits breathed for three days. Silence surrounds it. Forests have grown up. Cows are grazed over them. People keep chickens there. Geologists will find a layer of bones under the soil everywhere. Ukraine, Lithuania. Serial killers are not ashamed. Terror is the first weapon. Predators use the news to paralyze their victims. Strategies are devised to destroy compassion. This is the other weapon. The priest is trying to teach us what he learned. It is about impunity. He is trying to warn us. It is still happening. We would rather sleep at night. It seems almost ancient to read that. But, um, this is, um, this is a poem about Paris, and for me it has um, a deeper meaning because my uncle was a very renowned historian of uh, uh, French history, and, um, and I spent time when I was uh, 16 uh, with that family in Paris. Um, but this is about the Paris he didn't write about. So, um, City of Light, and I have a quote from Alice Notley. Paris has no light at all. Paris is a terrible place for light. Painters flock to Paris. They move into the void to give color to the city of light without light. How many layers of color does it take to shimmer light? The sky in Brittany is two-toned and clear. Pales of blue with cumulus fluffs white water bounty, gray sky, gray bridges, gray stone, granite, lime, soap, so much effort to clean a cathedral until it yellows. They burned a Talmud there, and a rabbi without subtlety says, spit on the stones of Notre Dame. I can't do it. My spit is nothing against those cobbles. In Berlin, it was 30,000 that burned. Books. The square was bigger and the burning was bigger. Does the burning grow each time it repeats? 
The color of fire is orange. The color of smoke is black. How can I still love Paris? But I do. What do I love? Shape, museums, and sound. A language that's soft even when it curses. Yes, but not the gestures. Gestures, abrupt in cursing. What color is the river? Blood red, darkening in the water. Protestant red, Jewish red, Algerian red. But Catholic blue, like the fleur de lis, it stings in memory. Hubris is the color of the sun. Louis XIV, he was hydrogen, as if a star mirrored in a hall of mirrors. Watch him move, burning through his scattered satellites adorned in blue and gold. It's only history. Repeat, it's only history. Repeat again. Paris is still beautiful in the rain, even the cemeteries. And um, the next one, thank you, Jonathan, for publishing this. Um, it doesn't sound like it, but it is a poem of place. Um, it reflects some of the years I spent in Houston, Texas. Um, I lived about 10 years down there. Originally, I grew up in Seattle, so it was a bit of a jump shift. I now live in Madison, Wisconsin, so, so this is remembered. Uh, lines hallucinating like stone ladders walking in circles. Opium nights in a broken mansion, white petals and a fright of needles, warm on wooden stairs, under an insect moon in a human universe fuzzy with southern sibilance. Like tokens of despair, strands of gray moss hang off black pin oak, shades of past sins whisper and shudder in shadowed air. Filmy images, heavy to bear. White opium nights in floral whisperings in a broken mansion, petals on wooden stairs, under an insect moon's, it's a human universe of sibilance, shuddering in shadowed air. It's 3 a.m. in the South Bronx, but it's not here, it's hot. Sins whisper sardonics, heavy to bear and layered. Black pin oak hanging hot off bronze sins of wintered sardo whispering sardonics, a kind of onyx, white and layered, shimmering on southern siblings under an in insect August moon. My mum's birth in white crystalline opium, smoky with filmy images, hard bearing tokes of despair, waiting in shotguns of gray redemption. Chrysanthemums of August Shotgun redemptions, a mum's birth shimmering in sibilance, broken in a mansion of white petals at 3 a.m. Afternoons of insect moons, moaning on wooden stairs, of gray moss, peddling milky white in a human universe, tacking black shades of past pin oak sins. Unshriven tokens of despair hang like strands of gray moss breezy with southern sibilance, beating tropes of August off black pin oak, hot idling on brindled stairs in shadowed air. It's not the Bronx at 3 a.m. under an insect moon. It's a human universe, heavy to bear, in broken hope and addled time. Tropes of August form onyx stairs that ladder circles as gentle doulas usher shimmered moons in spirals, hurtled in planetary motion of crystalline gravity through a human universe, sentient of bone and blood, grounded of foot and claw, redeemed in stone and sky. Thank you.